Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading, so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Alright, alright. Let's see what's going on here. Judgment. Seven of Wands and the Star. So Sagittarius, Aquarius energy here. Um... Something's been blocked. Maybe the way that somebody judged you. You defended yourself. So, I'm getting heavy Sag energy here with uh, Star. Let's see what's going on here. So we got the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there's somebody here who wanted to end something for you, but you're still going to get a new beginning from it. Knight of Pentacles justice yeah okay so this this knight of pentacles and i'm getting virgo energy here was expecting you to be judged and out the game but it didn't happen what happened was and what happened was is you still got this solid offer And this person is experiencing a tower. Scorpio energy, Libra energy. So whoever this person was, it was playing with your wish fulfillment, basically. With the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. You were their their wish fulfillment, but they, they did something to try to stop your destiny. And they regret what they did. Sagittarius again with Pisces and the High Priestess. I feel like maybe I'm getting in the energy of somebody smacking something down. Maybe the Most High smacking something down before it got off the ground here. But you saw the whole thing. You saw the whole thing. You saw somebody who was trying to basically jump on your destiny train. In the Knight of Wands energy. Your creation is far reaching from what I can see here. Um, whatever this person tried to do. It was supposed to get you stuck. But I think it just fueled the fire. Because with the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords here. On the Four of Wands. Yeah. This just. Whatever this person just did. That they regret. I feel like it's they've worked together to try to win at all costs. And what's what's kind of sick about this is that you know, you loved you loved yourself and somebody tried to make it paint you out like you were not anything like you said. You were this fly by night Fly by the seat of your pants, not being able to hold on to anything good. And we have the hanged man in reverse. So whatever they tried to stick you in, in this three of pentacles, you went the other way. You said, oh no. Oh no, I love myself enough to stand in my integrity. I'll take my chances. Type energy. Ten of Cups. Don't matter if they're your family or not. You just said, no, I'll take my chances. Six of Pentacles. The Hierophant and the Judgment card again. So, equal give and take. That would be nice, wouldn't it? 
Taurus, Sagittarius synergy. That would be real nice. If you quit taking and give me what's give me what you owe me, that would be nice. The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Like I said, they're not going to do it. They just want to keep taking whoever these people are. And I feel like it's family. Sister, brother, cousin, whatever. Gemini energy. Seven of Cups in reverse. But you are under no illusion about their lies. It's like like they super gaslight you it's your own family and they tell you that you are the problem when in fact you were maybe abused by them or you were cast out because you didn't think the same way they did gemini energy and they're lying about you they're, they're saying that they support you and all but it's all bull it every bit of it you are under no illusion about this at all. You know what they're doing. They're lying. They're doing their best to try to screw you over. What is this Knight of Cups spirit? Ah, we have a card from another deck. The Wheel of Fortune. They want your, they want your destiny. They want your Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands. They want to force you. They, basically, they're trying to force you to give up. And, and you know, like I said, maybe maybe the Five of Cups is you. Maybe maybe you are having some emotional issues at this time. But understand, there's hope. There's still two cups standing. Keep going. More Sagittarius energy here. Keep going. Yeah, judgment's being passed on this gold digging <clears throat> person that wanted to put ten wands across your back. Judgment is being passed. And the Knight of Cups is coming in anyway. Again, Sagittarius energy. They got stuck with a gold digger. They got stuck with somebody that, that just wanted them for their money. And that's, you know, it's all good. Whatever, whatever floats your boat there, homie. But now they're burdened with this, with this um, choice that they made. What is the justice about, spirit? It, it is karmic justice. I mean, if this was, if this was somebody that you were supposed to be with, but they blew you off and cast you out, for some kind of karmic floozy that just wanted them for their money and they're stuck with that choice that is karmic justice look they're going to send you a message because their secret's about to come out and I do feel like it has something to do with the legal system judgment, judgment, justice so this this secret's gonna come out anyway. You you're entitled to what what is owed to you. Pisces energy in reverse. So you're entitled to whatever judgment is here due to their collaboration to try to keep you stuck. They're playing in your energy. They they trying to keep you from creating. So, you know, it's like when you're in business for yourself and you keep going and you keep going, you bust your butt, and then you've got three people attacking a king of cups. Look, I can't even make it up. Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords from the past. Somebody using their wand to try to make you feel hurt, upset. 333. Very significant. And you may have cared about and loved this person very much. Page of Wands. But you feel like maybe it's time to move on to calmer waters. 
a healing is taking place, whether anybody likes it or not. Something's getting fixed. Something's getting resolved. You defended yourself. You went bada bada swing. So yeah, um, I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to be in my power. Like it or not. And you can go get bent. Let's see what we're going to pull. You took your chances here. You did the right thing. Paranoia. Suspicious actions always looking for what's wrong. Love on the brain. What do you want from me? Mr. Know-it-all. Control and dominate. That's what they want. Integrity. Fighting for what's right even if you're alone. Like I said, you took your chances here, viewer. And that was the right thing to do. Because you can't stop God's plan. You're finding out how powerful you are. Your multidimensional true divine self. And a destiny recalibration. So, it's like you went ahead and you, you changed up the game here. Without anybody knowing, because I think you did it silently. You, you didn't do it like, ta-da! You just did it behind the scenes. Ooh. Community here. I'm getting slave energy here. Somebody wanted you to slave away and be in prison. This this person is a wealthy wealthy man, privileged lady, and they wanted you to keep working and make them money. I'm getting I'm getting slavery vibes here. Really really big. You know, you slaving away, kept in confinement by this Wealthy man and privileged lady. You chose another path. The ancestors got your back. So does a community of people. They're helping you to get out of whatever this bondage is. Because I do feel like somebody has bound you. In some sort of way. And tried to keep you locked up. In their little dungeon of slave labor. Because they got money. I mean, it, it, for no other reason. This is the devil in tarot. All right. This is. I don't know what 12 is. Um, I'd have to look that up. It's right before the devil, though. All right, so we got sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Take a chance, risk being strategic. Like I said, you're not you're not telling nobody. You're not showing your hand here. You just continuing on. And there is a relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child. Abundance. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. I'm seeing somebody dress up here. Like, like really, really nice clothes. Like, in a, in a hotel that's really beautiful. Be careful with this person. Because I do feel like they have some kind of nefarious... Um, agenda here it, it might it might not be and i don't i don't want to i don't want to because it said paranoia right there um looking for what's wrong instead of what could be made right i do feel like somebody finds you very attractive and they want to give you a boost but it's it's gonna take time i i wouldn't jump on a bandwagon here until you're ready so we're healing the chaos within through forgiveness and there is some kind of miracle happening there's some kind of miracle happening because you chose you chose a different way 
I, you might have even broken your own chains here by choosing something else. You did choose to love yourself. And in that, possibly a miracle came about, you know? Let's get a hidden rooms. Get you some advice. Oh, that's too many. I hope everybody's doing well today. This is going to be a short read. Okay, so we got small steps in asking for help. The Well Watcher and the Lady of Lightning, both upright. Wisdom, power of the divine, surprises, sometimes shock, and a total paradigm shift. So let's see what they say. Alright. So this card says, The Well Watcher signals the need to go within to contemplate the true source of power in the world which, he reminds you, is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you have been called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. This affirmation and prayer will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. Thy will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose. Amen. You will know the way forward by the still small voice within. The divine may also answer your call by sending others to help guide you. So you ain't in this alone. You, you're not in this alone. Whether whether you feel like that or not, you know, I don't feel like you're, you're you know, the divine knows you, the divine sees you. So you're, you're not alone even if it feels that way sometimes. And trust me when I say I know what that feels like. It feels like you're alone sometimes. <laughs> Feel like you're doing it all by yourself. <laughs> okay, so this is an ally. And as an ally, the Lady of Lightning brings powerful forces of change into your life. She tells you to expect a sudden shift in your circumstances. Perhaps a situation you weren't anticipating arises and offers you the opportunity of a lifetime. Or a series of aha moments culminates in a pivotal flash, an insight causing everything to change just like that. Maybe someone enters your life and pushes you to new heights. You may have a brilliant idea that hits you like lightning. Be prepared. Change is imminent. And a total paradigm shift may be upon you. Don't resist the changes at this, as this kind of lightning isn't something you want to fight. Great things are happening when the Lady of Lightning appears. So, no matter what somebody has tried to do, there's a destiny recalibration happening right now. And a multidimensional uh, paradigm shift, like I said, I understand. But these people are going to be sorry for what they did. And I do feel like it's family. I feel like they've been using your energy to satiate themselves or to make a lot of money on your energy. Um, that's over. That's done. A new paradigm is on the way. Like I said, you may be taking a step back right now and recalibrating yourself because you're being called to the well. Be still and listen to the, the small voice within. There's still hope and there's still a paradigm shift that hasn't taken place yet. But you're about to see it. Alright, my darlings. Well, those are your messages. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.